After you get the links, which you will find on the page, you want to go into them, which are going to be the forge and your mod pack. So, in this case, you have the Guns and Space mod pack, which you just want to please download. After you press download, it's going to download right here. You want to accept this, and you just want to download the recommended one, which is going to be here. You just wait three seconds. You download that. When that's done, I'll tell you what to do, guys. When you have the forge ready and the mod pack ready, what you want to do is you want to put them here and you want to first do this. You want to start this, press yes, and just press OK. Then press OK. Then you want to go to Minecraft. Make sure you're signed in and select the Forge 1.7.10 or whatever version the Forge is uh, for your mod pack. I'll press play. When Minecraft is launched, it should be working and you should only have these uh, three uh, things in here. So you want to now quit. Now you want to go to percent up data percent like here and press enter. want to find dot Minecraft and press that and you should find a mods folder. If there is no mods folder, you just create new folder name it mods. want to go into here and it should be empty. You want to open this, which is going uh, to be a zip file. And you want to take all those, copy them, or you can just do this and post them here. After that's done, you want to close this, close that, and your mod is going to be, mod pack is going to be ready. And you want to make sure you're launching with the correct version. You want to press play. Now everything should be working. You should um, ask the person who you're going to play with to do the exactly same thing. After you've installed the mod pack and the forge on your computer and you ask and your friend did the same thing and you both have the same mods and the same version of forge and everything's working, we can now proceed to setting up the server. I'll be using Nitrado, but you can use any other server provider. So Nitrado servers, this is it. As we'll be going through it from scratch, I'll be making a new account and I'll be back. As you guys can see, I'm making a new account right here and I'm going to register right now. Now I'm going to go log in into my account. As you can see, I'm logging in and I have zero money on my thingy. Thingy. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be going to products, game server. I'm going to be looking for a Minecraft server. Actually, it's much easier to just search Nitrado Minecraft server. Now we go here. So uh, you can do this depending on the amount of friends you want. So it all depends. So for now, because I'm doing this thingy, I'm just going to do this one. So Let's just do a custom one for now. Uh, pick the location that uh, all your friends can join. So if you have someone uh, in New York and someone in Singapore, pick maybe Frankfurt. I'm going to pick Frankfurt. So let's just do the Frankfurt. I'm going to do next. Configuration. So I don't need more than four people. I'm going to be joining with my other accounts of four. Look, if you're going to be having four people, you need at least two gigabyte RAM. So I would suggest if you have two or more people and you have lots of mods, more than 30, go and just get yourself the 
better RAM. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So, uh, as you can see, it can improve performance. So, time prepay, I'm just going to pay for three days. I'm not going to be playing that much. So, next. And we're just going to be seeing what's up. Okay, guys, now <laughs> I'm going to uh, pay this and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I just added two uh, pounds to my account. Now I'm going to be uh, getting the server. So, uh, let's run the server. So, game. I'm going to put Minecraft. So, first of all, let me find the right one. So, for now, I'm going to be doing vanilla. I'm going to switch it in a bit. So, I'm going to go to the custom thingy. You know, it's going to bring me back to the thingy where I was going. So three days, available immediately. So you can also enter a promo code. So I'm just gonna do use account balance. Four slots, three days, just confirms it. It's my balance after that, switch the dashboard. So now when you rent a server, you have the dashboard. Uh, okay. So now what I wanna do is uh, just wait a little bit. Okay, guys, so what I just did is I'm going back, went down here. I just waited a bit for it. Now I'm going to go change game. You'll see why now. Okay, so if we go here, it's actually a bit more organized. So as you can see, we just want the one that's for uh, mods pa mod pack. So as you can see, there's lots of stuff. You just want to install the mod pack one. Okay. Uh, so you want to find the forge that's 1.7.10. So you can see forge vanilla. You want to get the forge vanilla. That's what you always want to do. It's way easier to do it this way. So, okay. Just leave this for now. If you give the server like 10 minutes, it will fix itself. So... We're just going to le let it do that. So let it install. It's free of charge to switch, by the way. So I'm going to let this fix, and I'll be back. Okay, everybody. Uh, so basically, this is just an issue with all the servers that they're just working on the world backup section because it's bugged. Anyway, though, uh, as you can see, we're in the server dashboard. And if you don't know how to get it, just go Nitrado. Go on the main page. And go to, uh, I think, my services, yep. And then you'll be here. Go to my dashboard, which is going to be somewhere here. Web interface login, that should be it. Once you're here, you'll be seeing this. So green, it's running, restart, and then you have stop server. Hello, everybody. I just figured it out. So basically, what we want to do is, if we're in the dashboard, right here, uh, you can't actually... Uh, access here manage the mods so what you want to do is you want to uh, do this by the way this is a good thing uh, let me just show you something guys so you can see the log files they just show you what's going on in the server so it's really good area to see what's going on anyway though uh, we want to go to uh, uh, I think it's config files yeah uh, not config files just let me check file browser right here that's it so we want to go to Minecraft other packs. So because we installed Minecraft vanilla 1.7.10, as you can see, we want to go Minecraft other packs. If you are using another mod pack from another version, you want to install the forge on the server from another uh, pack. So yeah. Anyway, go Minecraft other packs. Then here you want to go to mods. It should be empty. Right, yeah. So now what we want to do is want to minimize everything. And here you have the mods. So as you can see, it's not really a nice place to access them. So I'm just going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it yes, and the in the numbers. I'm just going to put all of this in here. So it's nice and easy to access it when I'm going to be uploading it. So as you can see here, uh, I'm just going to upload file. I'm going to be going to desktop. I'm just going to go to this nice file I made. I'm just going to upload one mod. It's going to be special armor. I'm going to upload that. And as you can see, that's uploaded and on here. 
So upload. Now I'm gonna go to the second one. Um, now let's try multiple. As you can see, uh, I can upload multiple uh, of them, but depending on the size, it may be difficult. Let me just check so we everything's working. So we have here one, two, three, four, f one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you always want to check. So now that we have this, it is very important that we do another thing. We want to go to World Manager. We want to make a new world. So uh, actually, we don't need to make a new world. We just delete this world, and we'll make an it will make a new world when we restart the server. You might ask why. Well, if the mod adds new ores and stuff, if the mods are are add new ores and stuff, they'll need a new world. So let's just delete that. Now that's that. This is deleted. Uh, it, it should be deleted anyway. Uh, we restart the server. So we cannot uh, restart message if someone's in the server. But anyway, that's another thing. So now the server will restart. You can see this thing here. Uh, let's just check another other settings and stuff. As you can see here, that's for you guys. You can um, make someone uh, an operator, meaning they can get um, ad admin commands and stuff. You can also restore backups, but as you can see, there is a problem with backups right now. So if you want backups, you can go to World Manager and you can backup your world. You will see it here. You can backup it. Um, anyway, you can have automated tasks such as restarts, and that should be it. Anyway, and we can see the server is working. We're just going to go to the uh, log files. We're going to see what's going on. We're just going to test this. So they're starting the Minecraft version 1.7.10. The vanilla 1.7.10. So let's just be checking this and seeing what's going to happen. Okay, default game type survival. You can also change that. So it's going to be doing all of that spawn. Now the mod pack should be working. So just creating the spawn area. So let's just wait for that. It's really good to check this. Uh, done. Query running. And if this going to be crashing, it's going to say... Uh, uh, run into unknown errors or something but it should be working as a test every single mod uh, okay so save the world is gonna save by the way every five minutes or whatever so anyway now uh, let me get the second computer and I'll show you guys how to log in uh, hello guys I'm back so now I'm gonna be starting Minecraft on here so let's just wait for that Just refresh this. As you can see, it's working. So let's just wait for that. Okay, let's see what's happening in Minecraft. I'm sorry if I'm gonna be lagging. I'm running a lot of stuff at the moment. Let me just close a few of these tabs. Okay, so now as you can see, Minecraft is open. So what we wanna do is we wanna go to multiplayer, add server, we can name it you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna tell uh, my friend server. Just gonna name it that server address. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna just put this the IP. Now, that's gonna go here and get done. Now, I'm gonna refresh. Now, let me maximize this. So, let me just try again. As you can see, uh, it's trying to load itself in. Just trying to catch. Oh, yep, it's working. 36 mods present. There's not sh there's not actually 36 mods. It's just the extra add-ons that the mods have. But as you can see, it loads up. Now I am able to join the server. So we're just gonna need some time to log in. Okay. So as you can see, I'm in the server. There's a bunch of scary stuff here. Probably gonna die by this thing, but I'm just gonna stay here, right? So now I'm gonna take out my phone and I'm gonna record the rest. Hello guys, uh, it's me again. As you can see, I have the server on here. That's me. 
and I just put the same thing on my laptop, random name and the same IP address, so I'm just gonna press done. Keep in mind, I have the mod pack installed on this uh, computer in the mods folder and also the forge, so now as you can see, it shows there's just actually one guy on the server and that's me on my other computer, of course. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna do the join server. By the way, you can change uh, the neutral.net game server thingy and the photo as well, the profile picture. So yeah, also if you are on another internet uh, or Wi-Fi or even another country, you can still join with your friend and play. So as you can see, I'm gonna join this. The server actually might crash because there's a lot of mods, but let's hope it doesn't. Okay, as you can see, Zipup has joined the sir, the game. Sorry, that's me. You can see, that's me. And now, as you can see, I can't really move because there I need to adjust the controls. As uh, you can see, many of them override, which you can easily do later on. But anyway, as you can see, I'm right here, and I can probably uh, see Zipup. As you can see, this is better and less laggier than uh, a local uh, game mode. And this is even better uh, because it's all managed online, you don't have to host anything. So if you want to play with your friend, I suggest you do a server. You might have to pay some money, but it's not that bad. And you can both play and it's saved and you can both run around and do everything. Because as you saw, if you saw my LAN video, uh, the skin, skins were bugging out and, you ha and I had a crash once because it's, it's a bit buggy. But anyway, I want to show you something else, guys. Uh, so let me just minimize Minecraft. As you can see here, we're having some issues, right? So, can't keep up the system time change or is the server overloaded? So, we, as we can see, we're 9,000 milliseconds, which is 9.3 uh, seconds behind. That means basically that as if we go to the dashboard, our server can't really handle the, the game. Because if you show you guys uh, the CPU, let me just find my mouse. So 93% of the memory usage is, it's, it's just gone out of charts because it's so much. So for if you're using more than 20 mods, you might want to get more megabyte for RAM. Anyway, that's going to be it. I won't take your time too long, guys. I don't want to take too much time of yours. Anyway, this should be working. You can also make world backups uh, in world manager when they fixed this thing here. So you can make, uh, create a backup. You can delete this if you don't like this world. But anyway, that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed this and hopefully this helped you out.